All right, guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Uh, you find it interesting. So, um, the federal government, or should I say Central Bank of Nigeria, just uh, gave us a press release about, you know, their recent um, stuff's crazy move about cryptocurrency. So, let's let's read it together. I'm reading it for the first time. I have not read it before, so this is the first time I'm reading it. So, let's go through it together. All right, so, response to the regulatory directive on cryptocurrencies. It says, um, the attention of the central bank has been drawn to various comments and reactions for following our recent rem reminder to deposit money banks, DBMs, DMBs, to desist from transacting in and with en entities dealing, dealing with cryptocurrencies. Well, that's not a wise move. Most of these reactions reveal that there appears to be a need to provide further justifications about our positions, especially to the general public. No matter the justification you want to give, it will make no sense, right? But let's, let's just read. For those who are not conversant with the universe of cryptocurrencies, it is important to state that cryptocurrencies are digital or virtual currencies, okay, issued by this, this, this statement. <laughs> this statement is very funny and, and let me tell you why it's, why, it's, why, it's, why it's funny to the best of my knowledge cryptocurrencies are more real than than any money you have in a bank let me tell you why if you have cryptocurrency in your wallet it's in your wallet it's it's with you there in your wallet but if you put your money in the bank it is not in your bank account what you have here is just a figure. The bank will send you a text that this is what you have in your account. But there is no money in your account because they don't, they don't open a special box and then put your money inside and say this money belongs to you. It doesn't happen in the banking system. But guess what? Cryptocurrency does that for you. So whenever, if, they, if they are saying cryptocurrencies are virtual currencies, then they are making it sound like it, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's just virtual, it's not, it's not real. Cryptocurrencies are more real than our normal conventional money because it's, it's the kind of money where you can, you can actually feel, you can, you can, you, you know, it's with you. The money in your bank account is not with you. I hope that was easy for you to understand. Well, um, uh, virtual currency is issued by largely anonymous ent entities and secured by cryptography. But the main point is that it's secured. I'll talk about the anonymity later, this part later, I'll talk, talk about that later. Cryptography is a method of encrypting and hiding codes that prevent oversight accountability. Accountability. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, and regulation. What? Regulation? <laughs> Damn. These guys shouldn't have written this thing. They are just messing themselves up. Anyways, let's read. Let's, let's just read further. Regulation? Come on. Cryptocurrencies are self-regulated. And the regulation for cryptocurrencies are, are visible and open for everybody to see. That's, that's why they call it dis distributed ledger technology, public ledgers. It's open. The regulation in cryptocurrencies are open. I think what they are trying to say is that they themselves as a government cannot regulate it. I think that's what they're trying to say. Moving on. Why there are a number of um, cryptocurrencies in circulation? Yeah. Uh, Bitcoin was the first to be introduced in 2009, that's correct, and now accounts for about 68% of all crypto. What? Did I read that right? Bitcoin was the first to be introduced in 2009 and now accounts for about 68% of all. That's, this statement is wrong and is wrong and shameful. What do you mean by Bitcoin was the first? Yes, that's correct, and now accounts for about 68% of all crypto. 68% of what? In terms of volume, in terms of what? Does that make... It? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get You don't just say Igbo. It's, just like, it's like saying the Igbos or the Hausas account for 68% of all Nigerians. 68% of what? Are you saying in terms of population? Are you saying in terms of trade done? Are you saying in terms of what? Uh, that's, that's, that's too vague coming from the central bank. Moving on. As regards our recent policy, it is important to clarify that the CBN secular, secular 
of February 5th, 2021, did not place any restrictions on cryptocurrencies. Of course, you cannot place any restriction on cryptocurrency. You can't. Not because I'm saying you can't, but you cannot. It's like it's like saying you want to block uh how, how do I put this? What are the things you can't do? Uh, you can't. There is just no ability to to uh, there's just no ability for you to block crypto to restrict cryptocurrency. So you can't, right? So okay, uh given that all banks in the in the country had earlier been forbidden through CBN's um forbidden through CBN's circular dated January 12, 2007 not to use whole trade or transact cryptocurrencies. Indeed, this position was reiterated in another CBN press release February 27, 2018. It's also important to note that the CBN's um, position on cryptocurrencies is not an outlier. I don't know if I pronounce that as many countries. Central banks, international uh, financial institutions and distinguished investors and economists have also warned against its use. Warned this is a largely false statement. Wh wh which, which, <laughs> which country in the world? You know what? I'm going I'm to play. I'm going to play you guys a video right what this uh, come on man all right guys so this is the video now this guy's name is um congressman patrick patrick mchenry right and uh, let's see who he is who he is who is patrick Mac patrick timothy mchenry is a u.s representative for north carolina 10th congressional district he's a member of the republican party and blah 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 point is what he's in the government right so now let's listen to what he has to say about cryptocurrency. So I'll just take it back a little bit so you can hear what he said. Is an unstoppable force. We should not attempt to deter this innovation. Paper envisioned and others are building is an unstoppable force. We should not attempt to deter this innovation and governments cannot stop this innovation and those that have tried have already failed right so those that have tried have already failed right when was this video made in 2019 so what exactly is he talking about now you have to go back and watch from the beginning full governmental oversight that's my hope for this day is it's thoughtful government oversight the reality is whether facebook is involved or not change is here change is here digital currencies exist okay blockchain technology is real you see and facebook's entry now i'm not going to play with the old facebook part he's just trying to say that hey they've tried to stop it before but they can't and now they are admitting that this technology is yet to stay also let me show you guys a comprehensive list of banks around the world that are using blockchain right now comprehensive list of banks using blockchain technology now what is blockchain technology blockchain technology is the technology behind cryptocurrencies you see anyways this is not a video for that but i'm just trying to let you guys know that hey what they are saying doesn't really really exist right there's not not the government around the world that are trying to ban bitcoin are the government that don't know what is going on the government that knows what is going on what the future is are not saying what the cbn is saying all right back to our reading so they all uh they have all made similar pronouncements uh based of the significant risks that transacting in cryptocurrencies uh pro what potent risks of loss of investment that doesn't make much sense money laundering this is this is so not true right now this statement makes it look as if the invention of money laundry came through cryptocurrency so are you trying to tell me that people started losing money when cryptocurrency was was um was uh was created people have been losing money way before cryptocurrency was was created there has been money laundering way before cryptocurrency was created right so that's also not not a good point to make moving on i'm going to jump all that uh now of, of course don't get me wrong don't get me wrong it's possible for people to do evil things with cryptocurrency the same way people have been doing evil things with paper money also right moving on 
in China, for example, cryptocurrencies are completely banned and all exchanges closed as well. Uh, that is fully not true, but let's move on. I'm going to make another video uh, so we can continue this because I don't want the video to be too long, just 15 minutes each. Okay, banks and other financial institutions are not allowed by, by law to transact or deal with cryptocurrencies. Now, the reasons why banks are not allowed to transact in cryptocurrencies is because cryptocurrencies have the ability to make the banks go into extinction. So what you're supposed to do is not to allow people to use them so you don't go into extinction, it's an extinction, right? So assuming you heard that a new technology will make your business go out of business, would you let that technology strive? No, you wouldn't, right? And that is why I think the, the federal government of Nigeria um, are taking the wrong step you know they're taking the wrong step cryptocurrency have the ability to 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 cripple to a large extent cripple uh, the financial sector of any any nation what is wise to do is to find out how you can take advantage of this new technology and guess what the china that they mentioned let me show you what china is trying to do with this new technology also now look at what the chinese government is doing now the chinese government are aware that cryptocurrencies yeah have a chance of you know making people stop using the banks guess what they are doing the chinese government had to set up a, a committee to research about this new technology i'm telling you china ccid's eighth issue of global public blockchain technology assets index eos ethereum and gx chain stay in top three why Bitcoin is at 18th position? Guess what they are doing? The Chinese government is doing what the, what, the, what the Nigerian government are not doing. They set up a team to study cryptocurrencies and the use cases of cryptocurrencies. They are studying Bitcoin. You see, not only are they studying it, they, they, are, they are giving, they've started giving ranking. Like, it, let, let's see. Uh, let's see if I can open one for you quickly. I don't want this video to exceed 15 minutes. Uh, in the next 15 minutes i'm going to end it and then give you the part two china's research institute updates crypto ranking review affected by by pandemic now let's see the ranking let's see what they are doing eos tron ethereum leaks now these are the same cryptocurrencies that the nigerian government are painting as evil you see you see? oh my god come on ah now let me further show you what the Chinese government is doing. The Chinese government, they are totally abandoning, if there's any English like that, all forms of paper money. They are going fully digital. You know why? Because they've been studying Bitcoin. They've been studying EOS. They've been studying Ethereum. They've been studying Tron. And now they've seen the capabilities and the abilities of these cryptocurrencies. Guess what they are doing? They are now introducing their own digital currency that will look and function maybe like Bitcoin or Ethereum. What is the Nigerian government doing? They are doing the reverse. Anyways, let's go back to <laughs> let's go back to what we're reading. So our uh, the PBOC views cryptocurrencies as illegal. That is not true. If 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 that is true, they wouldn't be researching about cryptocurrencies. They would not be creating their own um their own metrics their own grading of cryptocurrencies we saw when they were grading it this is it this is it. this where, where's the news where's the news where's the news look at it this month eos remains top of top of the overall ranking followed by tron these are the same cryptocurrencies that the chinese government are ranking they, they've started giving them ranking cci this global blockchain technology asset index come on what are you telling your people I hope I'm not shouting. Let me, let me go back to what I'm reading. All right, so cryptocurrencies are not illegal. So uh, moving on. Hence, banks and all stakeholders are strongly advised. Stop lying to your people, man. Even famed investor Warren Buffett. Come on, man. This is a shame. Now I'm pissed off. This is a this is a huge shame. Ah, guys, you know what? You know what? I'm I'm going to complete this video. There's there, there's going to be part two. Come on, this, uh, it's too late for them to take this thing down. This is a shame, man. Uh, 
um just just like and subscribe to the channel man i'll continue this video in another video continue to be another video what am i saying damn